welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing a pore vanishing primer. If you guys have followed Meanbox or if you follow them on Facebook, you may have seen a video that they posted of two oranges. One they rubbed foundation on without primer and one they rubbed a primer on it and they used the Pony Effect Ultimate Prep Primer. This is supposed to be an ultimate pore vanishing primer. I have tried pore vanishing primers in the past and I usually, honestly, I don't like them. And so I thought this looked really interesting. I honestly had never heard of Pony Effect before, but I was really excited to try it. This product is made in Korea and all of the instructions and everything, it's all in Korean and also the website is the exact same way. So it was pretty hard to find information on it, although I did find a little bit of information on meme box, um, us.memebox.com. It looks like it does retail for $25.50. This is the Oily Skin or Large Pores Primer. They also have one, I believe, for dry skin, and um, they might have one for combination skin. This is currently sold out on meme box. I just purchased this like a week ago, and um, I'm really surprised it sold out. I didn't know if it was a new product or not, but I saw this video, and you can kind of see here on my screen, it's two oranges, and I saw this video on Facebook, and it was an orange and they put foundation on it without a primer and then they use this primer on the other one and put foundation on it and it really vanished the appearance of the bumps on the orange and I really wanted to do that experiment with you but I don't have an orange so we're just going to do the experiment with our face which is the most important part anyway. I want to see how this primer tests out. Um, I'm going to be using this all over my face not just on half my face. Um, I'll be able to tell how it wears compared to my favorite primer which is my gorgeous cosmetics first base foundation primer which is really really good so we're just going to test this out today and see how it goes. So first thing is I am obsessed with this packaging. It is rose gold and black for those of you who know me. No, I love rose gold. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's like my favorite and wait till you check out. So it's really pretty and it says hashtag original. That's the, this is the original primer. Um, and if you look at the packaging, you guys, it is the pure rose gold um, bottle. This is what you want to look for. This is the ultimate prep primer original and it is Rose gold, like this is the most aesthetically pleasing makeup product ever. I love this so much. It is so pretty and sleek and gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like seriously, I would buy things for the packaging and especially when I saw this packaging, I already wanted to buy the product, but when I saw the packaging, I was like, yes, speak to me primer, okay. So this is supposed to be a silky balm texture. It's pore minimizing and it's for oily skin, large pores. Um, this is, I'm gonna read you this little paragraph on this um, Pony Effect. Pony Effect is the line by, it says, Korea's favorite makeup artist, Pony. Says she spends the most effort on facial makeup because beautiful skin makes all the difference. Suffering from dry skin, oily skin, large pores, Pony created all three different types of primers, so there's something for everyone. And um, so this was created by Korea's favorite makeup artist, Pony. So it's called Pony Effect. That's what the line is called. This is the ultimate prep primer, and I think we should put it to the test. So I'm just going to unscrew the cap. I love how it has, you know, a squeeze tube. I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger here. Okay. Kind of reminds me of like Benefit Professional Texture. And I'm going to put this all over my face. Mm-hmm. Really smooth. Instantly reminds me of Smashbox Photo Finish or Benefit Professional. It feels really, you know, smoothing on the skin. One of the things that it's not doing is, you know, when you have a primer like this, the balmy primers, sometimes if you rub them too much, they start to like flake. And this doesn't feel like that. It's also soaking in really, really quickly. Um, so, I don't know if my pores are gone yet. So the primer feels like most primers that are pore vanishing. Um, really silky on my skin, really smooth. I think that my foundation is going to probably sit on it pretty well, um, but I'm really excited to test that out. I'm going to be using my favorite foundation. Again, I want to do my makeup like I always do it so we can really put this primer to the test. So my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation with my Real Techniques um, sponge here. I'm just going to shake this guy up. And kind of how I like to do this is I pump it on the back of my hand here. Just take about a full pump and then Real Technique sponge, and then I kind of just dot it on my face. And then I go back through and blend it. That's just how I like to put it on. All right, let's see how this thing works. So my foundation blended very similarly to how it always does. 
Um, it still looks really nice. Um, I don't see my pores with this foundation right now. Um, I'm going to zoom in and show you guys a close-up. So here is a close-up of my skin before. And um, like I said, I don't think that you can really see my pores. I think they kind of have vanished from what I can see right now. So I want to go ahead and finish up my face makeup and then we will zoom back in and we will talk about my first impressions and then we will test it out throughout the day and I will check in with you guys and let you know how it's going. Okay guys, so I just finished my makeup and I'm actually kind of digging this look. It's like super sparkly and glittery. I was just kind of playing with this new sleek makeup palette I have. It's the 24 karat gold, the gold standard 089 I lust eyeshadow palette and it's like got the cream glitters and I'm interested to see if they crease really bad. I didn't want to put anything over them. I have a feeling they're going to crease but for right now I like how they look really wet and shimmery. Um, but my last step is I'm going to apply my NYX setting spray. This is what I use every day when I do my foundation. I'm going to kind of spray all like around my face I know and then I kind of like waft it towards my face. It's a process. It's a process. I know. Okay, and I'm wearing my Kylie Lip Kit in Coco K today, which I love. I actually have grown to like it. I didn't like it when I first got it for some reason, but probably since I lost Candy K, which is still very unfortunate and sad, I grew to love Coco K. Okay, so my first impressions on this primer. Um, I liked the texture of it. It does have that same slip that the... Um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer has, and then the Benefit Professional. It feels very similarly to that. It is this, like, um, uh, the liquid that's, like, you know, the cream color, and it's very, like, it is very balmy in texture. It feels like a primer for oily skin. The one thing that I find very different about it from the Smashbox Photo Finish is that it dries really quickly, whereas the Smashbox Photo Finish kind of sits on my face for a lot longer, and I don't like that primer at all. This soaks into your skin and dries very quickly. I will say, um, with this primer and with some, like, pore vanishing primers like this that I have tried, um, 
My first impressions are pretty average. I'm not overwhelmed by this. Um, I'm not underwhelmed. I'm just kind of neutral on it. I can see my pores, and I'm going to zoom in on those in a second. But anything that has this kind of balmy texture, I find very slippery on the face. Whereas this primer, it has a little bit of a sticky tack to it, but it dries down. It's not like um, slippery like this, but it's not like sticky and it grabs your foundation. It's still good for dry skin, but... Um, comparing it to this, this one still wins for me on first impressions based on how my foundation applied. Um, my pores are definitely more visible using this primer than they are when I use my Gorgeous Cosmetics primer. Um, and I think it is because it has that slip and so the primer tends to move a little bit and doesn't kind of grab onto my skin quite as well. I like primers that tend to be a little bit more sticky. Um, so I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see what my skin looks like. We are real up close and personal. And I don't know if you can quite see how much you can see my pores here, but it really kind of is showing the texture on my skin through here. And usually that is pretty invisible. Now it's not super bad and you really can only see it close up. But when I look in the mirror, specifically right in front of me, right here, this little triangle looks much not worse but just it doesn't look as good as it does when I use my gorgeous cosmetics primer um, my pores are definitely more visible here which is something that I don't like so um, I want to test this throughout the day and do some check-ins with you guys but I wanted to show you up close what it looks like and um, I use the Jaclyn Hill highlighter for the first time I don't know if it's the primer um, I I would say it is because I know what my skin looks like on a daily basis when I use my first base primer and I use the exact same foundation like routine that I have been using for months and I don't have this kind of texture on my skin with that. It's not as quite as visible because you can see it's really, it's not even necessarily that it's bumpy, it's just you can really see my pores through it in that area. So first impressions, um, I don't think it's overwhelmingly good. Um, I like my first base one better, but I do want to see how this wears throughout the day and if it um, helps my foundation to last a little bit longer than my first base one does. So let's just test it out. Let's see how it goes, and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it is 2.30 now, and I've been wearing this um, primer, foundation, like face of makeup for three and a half hours, and I have to say that I'm not shiny or dewy at all, um, which actually is kind of rare for my Milani foundation. Right about the three to five hour mark, so I have another like hour or so, I start to get a little bit dewy and feel like I need to powder. I don't feel like I need to powder at all. Um, so this primer I feel like is holding up in the oil department. However, I am still unhappy with the way that my pores look with this primer. Um, for something that claims to be a pore vanishing primer, I don't find it to be vanishing for my pores at all. Um, I think the oil control definitely seems really good, but I think it really highlights my pores. And I'm going to zoom in and show you guys one more time to see what it looks like up close. So hopefully you can see, but right here, all along my cheekbone and then right next to my nose, you, my pores just stick out like a sore thumb. They are so visible and I don't have super enlarged, very, very big pores, but it looks like I've got really big pores and I have to attribute it to the primer. This is how I've been doing my makeup every day for the last month or so. Um, foundation, concealer, bake, everything is the same except the only thing that I really changed was the primer. And so I really am attributing it to that. Um, you can see my pores like going all the way back and it just makes the makeup almost look cakey in this area, which it doesn't really up here or on my nose or on my chin or anything, but right in this kind of triangle area, it is looking very pore-like. Um, it's not looking smooth, and I really don't like that about this primer, and it's making me feel like I will not reach for this primer. So I don't feel the need to do another check-in because I feel like I already have some really strong opinions on this primer. Um, Everything about this, the way that it looks and the way that it sounds, um, was amazing. I thought that the packaging was beautiful, obviously. I thought that the claims looked really good. The video with the orange totally got me where it's not bumpy and then it's bumpy without the primer. But, um, and I think it did a good job with the oil control on my skin. So if you don't have a problem with pores and you want something that's going to help you control your shine, this will work. But 
If I ever use this primer again, I would use it in conjunction with um, my, my first base primer and I would put my first base primer in my T-zone area where I feel like this is just really picking up my pores and the texture on my face. It confuses me because that actually doesn't happen very often. I'm very familiar with what my skin looks like, especially when I wear this foundation in conjunction with my favorite primer. And so overall, I don't think that this performed well and I don't think that it is worth the money. I think there are better primers out there. Um, I would highly recommend the Gorgeous Cosmetics First Base Foundation Primer but this just did not impress. I'm disappointed in that because I was really excited for it, but I just don't like the way that it sits on my skin, and I don't like the slip that it had when I was applying my foundation. Um, that is my final thought on this primer. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know um, this review wasn't overwhelmingly positive, but sometimes you just find makeup products that you don't like, and that happens, and I wanna tell you guys when that happens, especially when I'm testing a product out like this for the very first time, and um, so yeah, I I hope that you still enjoyed this video and if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. I had a blast testing this out for you um, and kind of seeing how it worked out. I have lots more fun videos coming for you guys so have a great day. Look forward to that and I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.